that is a heinous behavior. It's unacceptable for a business owner. And she's not the only one who feels that way. The state's attorney general is now battling a business owner he says violated a consent decree. Good evening, I'm Paul Cicchini. And I'm Jessica Coons. Suburban Express Bus Company is in trouble once again. Owner Dennis Teppin is being taken to court for not following the rules of an agreement made with the attorney general. That agreement was made just last week. WCI 3's Jennifer Jensen is live in Champaign for us tonight. So Jennifer, what happens now? He's facing a fine of $10,000 for those violations. There are a lot of incidents that led up to this, but Teppin maintains his belief that the settlement, quote, does not contain an admission of wrongdoing. What started with a controversial advertisement has spiraled into a whirlwind of backlash for Suburban Express Bus Company. In 2017, they released an ad saying, you won't feel like you're in China when you're on our buses. That landed the company with a lawsuit filed by former Attorney General Lisa Madigan. Flagrant and numerous violations of the Illinois civil rights and consumer protection laws. And it shocked a lot of customers, including one who wanted to remain anonymous. He's obviously have some serious racism issue and like, well, it's like, this guy must be crazy, I guess, well, I guess it's like too, too crazy and basically special. To settle the case, the owner, Dennis Teppin, agreed to pay $100,000 to refund certain customers. He was ordered to post a non-discrimination statement on the website. The AG says Teppin failed to do that. Plus, the consent decree required the company, quote, not to penalize customers based solely on online comments about any defendant, including reviews, end quote. Instead of following that, Teppin brought back a page of shame on the website, exposing customers' phone numbers, addresses, and emails. The page accuses them of not paying and lists people banned from the service. While this woman didn't want to go on camera, she's on that page of shame. She left a negative online review months ago after a bad experience with Suburban Express. She's now a banned customer and she's a U of I student originally from China. I think he's just like ran out of ideas to say about people who he obviously have zero idea on who they are. The website accuses her of being a danger to herself and others. Bridget Jasinski is also a banned customer who filed a complaint with the AG against Teppin. He obviously doesn't care about his customers and he cannot take ownership for wrongdoing and it's all problematic behavior. Earlier this year, we reported her story. The company apologized to her after they refused to let her get on the bus even though she paid for a ticket. But after a personal confrontation, Teppin later sent her an email calling her a spoiled little psychopath. The fact that he hurt students, um, banning them, referring to them on his page of shame, these are unacceptable forms of behavior, particularly for a business owner, and I really think he should be apologetic and thankful for the opportunity to continue conducting his business. On the Suburban Express website, Teppin says the settlement was a path out of litigation. He says the lawsuit, quote, contained numerous false, unproven, and legally inconsequential allegations, end quote. It also states Suburban Express feels that it was being extorted by the state. That non-discrimination statement is now posted on other areas of the company's website. It also say, says that Suburban Express is considering taking legal action against Attorney General Kwame Raoul. Live in Champaign, I'm Jennifer Jensen, WCIA3, your local news leader. A lot going on there. All right, Jennifer, thanks so much. A hearing is scheduled for next week on this. The court will decide if Teppin has to pay the $10,000 fine and remove the web pages within 24 hours.